This is you, this is your computer, and this is you watching what is an IP address. IP addresses represent where you live on the internet, and are needed to send messages to computers outside of your own network. Imagine when you send a letter to your great aunt Mew. You put her address on the front of the envelope and the return address on the back. You send the message and expect to get a reply. This is what is going on with your computer right now as you're watching this, except the destination address of the thousands of messages you're sending every minute is some YouTube server, and the return or source address is the computer in front of you. Just like with house addresses, you won't find two computers connected to the internet with the same address. Somewhat differently though, computers don't use geographical addresses, but rather use a string of numbers called an IP address. These IP addresses are how the devices involved in passing the message know who is sending what to whom. Not including a source IP when sending a message over the internet would be like sending a letter with no return address to a complete stranger who has to deal with billions of letters every minute and expect to get a reply. Yeah, good luck with that. So, quick recap. IP addresses are unique series of numbers which identify computers on the internet. Want to watch YouTube? You need an IP address. Want to send an email? You need an IP address. Want to browse GIFs of adorable cats? You need an IP address. Cool. Moving swiftly on. If you look at an IP address in a bit more detail, you'll notice that it's basically four numbers separated by dots. This particular IP address would be pronounced 192.168.1.1. Using dot or point between the numbers doesn't really matter, it's just personal preference. As mentioned in a previous video, sending information across the network will eventually lead to ones and zeros being transmitted in the form of electrical signals. An IP address has 32 of these ones and zeros. With a little bit of arithmetic, we can work out that there are 4,294,967,296 addresses available for use on the internet. Wait, hang on. There are 7 billion people in the world, about 3 billion of whom are connected to the internet. Some of these people will have multiple internet connected devices, the number of which is going up literally every second. Aren't we running out of addresses? Why yes, we most certainly are. The super amazing techie people realised this problem back in the late 1990s and hence came up with a system to slow down the rate at which IP addresses were being used up. That is called NAT. Imagine a postman standing at your front door. Looking towards the house is like looking at the devices on your home network, and looking out towards the road is like looking out towards the internet. The postman takes three letters, one from Alex watching YouTube, one from David sending an email, and one from Jane watching gifts of adorable cats. The postman sends off these letters and any replies get given to him. He then comes back to the house with the replies and gives them to Alex, David and Jane respectively. Same idea with Nat. It takes multiple addresses from inside your network and presents a single IP address pointing out towards the internet, thus reducing the number of IP addresses used. This is why if you take a look at your network settings at your house and then ask a friend to do the same at theirs, it's likely you'll have incredibly similar IP addresses. Nat is working in the background. And so, this is you, this is your computer, and this is you finishing what is an IP address.